She's featured on the cover of Oil Woman magazine, a frequent guest contributor for NASDAQ, a representative to the National Petroleum Council and an industry ambassador for the Department of Energy. For Katie Maynard, she's not just an energy trailblazer, but paving the way for future generations. For Katie Maynard, being part of the energy industry is more than just a job, it's a calling. And at the end of the day, the energy industry is about grit. It's about shoring up new skills, new talent, um, so that we can you know, tackle climate change, which obviously is impacting here in Houston and, and all over the world. But how she got started may surprise you. My father actually told me, don't get into this business. That was back in the 1980s when he lost his job as an engineer. But what people know is, is that I do exactly the opposite of what my father tells me to do. So I did get into the industry. She wasn't an engineer or in STEM. She was told the industry also needs people who can communicate. And she said, well, you can be a people engineer. So I tell people I'm a people engineer now. We don't need uh, people with specific uh, degrees. You don't even need a college degree to get into the energy industry. There's a big misnomer that you've got to have a rice degree or you've got to have a specific right discipline. Right now, the energy industry is hiring. It's an exciting time and I tell people, if you want to be a part of it. And just generally speaking, she is one tough chick. Her grit has not only led her to become CEO of her own company, but also called upon by the U.S. Department of Energy to advise them. So, yes, when you get the phone call to serve the country in a volunteer hat to be an ambassador, you know, you say yes and you figure out what the role is or you help, you know, craft that role. So I've had a lot of, um, it's been very meaningful for me and, and um, impactful to be able to work with the federal government to help people understand that we've got to work together in order to create this, this energy workforce of the future. You know, I think one of my roles uh, as CEO and founder is to really help people understand what energy is and help our lawmakers make make sensible policy. Well, you know, I've never been shy to push a door down or to try and crack a ceiling. I, I do have this wonderful piece of glass here to remind me every day. Thank you very much. And whether she's commissioning books to recognize other women in the energy industry or making new strides in Houston, the energy capital of the world, her goal still involves helping others. But, you know, yeah, I, I think that um, there's still a lot of work to be done, particularly for women of color. Um, we need to engage um, the next generation of talents. We need to be looking at generations. We need to be looking at ethnicities. We need to be looking at all kind of factions of life because that's what represents who we serve from an, from an energy perspective. Society is our customer. And so those customers really need to be a part, you know, of making that new future. That and continuing to break the glass ceiling. Continuing to break the glass ceiling, yes. Well, I don't really feel like I'm remarkable. I think the women, though, that we try to represent are the ones that are remarkable. Um, it's their stories. It's the things they're doing, particularly in the energy industry.